Hey everybody, this is Caleb with Common Motor and today we're going to show you how to change the oil and oil filter on your CB500 and CB550 four-cylinder motorcycles. Let's start with how often you should be changing the oil. The oil needs to be changed every 1500 miles or 2400 kilometers. Every other oil change you also need to be changing and replacing your oil filter. Now if this is the first oil change in your motorcycle, we recommend also dropping the oil pan to clean out any long-term debris and also checking the condition of the bottom end of your engine. Start by sliding the oil catching tanner underneath your motorcycle. Your drain plug is right here. Drain plugs can be incredibly difficult to remove, so use your breaker bar to break it loose. Be sure you're turning it in the right way and don't strip the threads. Once loosened, unscrew the drain plug and let the oil dump into the container. This is a good time to inspect for any metal debris or large chunks of material. Both are signs that something's going on in your engine that shouldn't be. If it smells like gas or it's thin, you may also have a carburetor overflowing into your engine. Next, loosen your oil filter housing on the front of your engine. Once it's removed, pull the old oil filter out of the housing and let it drain. After draining all the oil, we like to kick over the engine a few times to get any remaining oil that might be left. Clean your oil filter housing of dirt and debris and switch out the o-ring on the oil filter bolt before installing the new oil filter. It's good practice to add fresh oil to the new o-rings before installing them. We sell two replacement filters for your CB550, a standard filter and a premium filter. Both will come with the large o-ring and the small o-ring needed when changing the oil filter. Now if the bolt was damaged during disassembly, we also have replacements of those. Insert your bolt into the housing, place the spring and washer in, and then the new oil filter. Add a little oil to the bigger o-ring and lay it on the groove in the oil filter housing. When you're reinstalling the housing, be sure to align it based on the notch in the engine casting. Don't over tighten it or you might crack the housing. Next reinstall your drain plug. If your aluminum ceiling washer is damaged, then replace it. If it's in good shape, you can actually reuse it a few times. Torque your drain plug to 25 to 28 foot-pounds of torque to properly seal it. Now Honda calls for 3.2 quarts or 3 liters of 10W40 oil on your motorcycle when you change it with the oil filter. The later CB550 K3s and K4s will use a little bit more oil at 3.4 quarts or 3.2 liters of oil. Now over here at Common Motor, we prefer to use diesel truck 15W40 mineral oil. The extra additives in the diesel truck oil are great for your engine. You should also always be adding 2 ounces of zinc additive every time you change the oil. When you think you're getting close, check the oil level. To check your oil level, unscrew the dipstick, wipe it off, and sit it back in the engine casing. Don't screw it back in. Remove the dipstick and now check your oil level. If you're full, you will be at the top line in your dipstick. Once full, return the dipstick to the engine and screw it back in. You've now changed the oil on your Honda CP500 and CP550 engine. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram, subscribe to our newsletter over at common-motor.com, and subscribe to this YouTube channel right down below. See you next time.